Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you how I like to meal prep for the week. So this meal prep is what I do for myself. I also meal prep lunches, which is completely different because <laughs> I don't do those for myself. I do those for Dylan. So if you want to see a video on that, just let me know and I can make another meal prep video. But the first thing I'm going to do is on a baking tray lined with foil, I'm going to take chicken and I'm going to wash it and set it on there. And I'm using the thighs attached to the drumstick, but honestly, you can use any kind of meat. It's going to work just fine for this. And you can even substitute it out for turkey. So first things first, I'm going to season the chicken. So I'm just going to season it with some salt, some pepper, some ginger, and some paprika. And I'm going to do this to both sides of our chicken. Any excess water that's on the pan from washing the chicken, I'm going to actually keep it there. I want it there because as it cooks, it's going to keep the chicken a lot more moist and it kind of acts like a baste for it, even though it's not technically a baste. And then I will just bake this in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. And that brings me to tip number one. So using infused olive oils or even infused butters is an easy way to season your food without having to pull out like 10,000 spices. You can do this really far in advance. They last for a really long time and super quick to use. So I'm gonna move on to my vegetables now. For my vegetables, I'm gonna start by peeling a sweet potato. Once I have the whole thing peeled, I just cut off the ends and then I sliced it down the center lengthwise and then I sliced it four ways lengthwise once it was flat on the cutting board and then I just chopped it into about one inch size dices and then I'm gonna set that aside for later because we're gonna move on to chopping up some other vegetables. Next I'm moving on to a butternut squash. So I start by cutting off each end and then I'm gonna stand it up and really really carefully with my knife I'm going to go along the skin and this is I find is the easiest way to peel them because the skin is so thick. So once I'm done peeling it I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down in half widthwise and I'm gonna set the top half aside for moving on to cutting the bottom half in half because the bottom part of the butternut squash is where all the seeds are kept. And you can just use a tablespoon to scrape all of it out. And you can either set it aside and roast the seeds, or you can just discard of them. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and chop all of the butternut squash into dices, a similar size that we did to the sweet potato. And then once again, I will just add that to my pan. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my acorn squash. I'm gonna peel it the same way that I peeled the butternut squash. And for this one, we're just gonna cut it directly down the center and scoop the seeds out again. And then once again, we're gonna cut it lengthwise and then dice it into about one inch dices. This recipe is super versatile, so you can honestly substitute all the vegetables for your favorite vegetables. As you can tell, I really love squash. That's why I have a lot of it. <laughs> but honestly, a good rule of thumb is just try to keep it colorful because that way you know you're getting a lot of different nutrients and vitamins. So next I'm moving on to mushrooms and I just cut these whole mushrooms. I washed them off and now I'm just gonna cut them all in half before I once again add them to the pan. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season the vegetables. So first I'm gonna take my infused olive oil. I'll leave the link to that video in the top corner and I'm just gonna give the vegetables a good decent coat of that before I move on to seasoning them. So I'm just gonna season them with some salt and some pepper because for the most part I want to keep it pretty simple just because the vegetables themselves have a lot of flavor to them and then I'm gonna go ahead and add on about three tablespoons of honey the sugars that are in the honey just help to caramelize the vegetables even further and it gives them a really great flavor. I'm going to cook the vegetables at 350 for 45 minutes so feel free to put it in the same time you put your chicken in. 
And then we're going to move on to my next tip, which is using really fast cooking rice. So I like to use five minute rice, but a lot of brands make the same thing. It just saves you a lot of time and honestly, it's like fool's proof. It's so easy to make it and just have it ready to go. My next meal prep that I'm going to do is grating cheese which this is really simple and yes you can get cheese already grated but you get so much more if you just buy it like the brick and then grate it yourself so i'll just grate the cheese and then put it in a container and it's really simple to do but believe me you'll save so much time when you go to cook <laughs> having this already done and ready to go and i always like to keep the rinds of cheeses because they're really great in like tomato sauces and pasta sauces so make sure to keep that my next tip for fast cooking is buying already peeled garlic or minced garlic and ginger because it saves you a lot of time. You think that is something really quick, but trust me, it takes time and this is a great way to speed it up. So now everything is done. So as you can see, we have our lovely chicken and I cooked the chicken on the top rack and then I cooked my vegetables on the bottom rack because I like my chicken has like a nice crispy skin to it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just divide the vegetables into two containers. I always like to freeze one container because I just can't get through it fast enough <laughs> and I don't want all that hard work to go to waste. And then for the chicken, I'm just gonna wait for it to cool a little bit before going ahead and just peeling it off into strips. I like to peel it into strips because that way I can use it in soups, in wraps, in quesadillas, in pastas, in rice dishes. And if you guys would like a dedicated video to seeing some of the recipes that I use with my meal prepped ingredients, just let me know in the comments below and I would gladly make that for you. So there is our finished shredded chicken. We have our cheese, our roast vegetables, and our chicken good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it for you. I've been planning on making this for a while, so I'm happy that I did it. And for other videos that you guys want to see in the future, just leave it in the comments below and I'd be happy to make it. Like up this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Monday and Thursday. And until next time guys, bye!